Hi, I'm Susie, and I've been living and travelling in my van Lucy for just over two years. I've travelled across 10 countries from Scotland in the UK all the way through Europe to Northern Norway, back down to Southern Spain and into Portugal. It's been an incredible, life-changing journey, and I've even written a book, Let Go, Fly Free. Follow me as I explore this beautiful country to find land and my new home to live a sustainable and self-sufficient life. I am now excited. How long have I been waiting for this? <laughs> Two and a half months, oh my God. Somewhere in the middle of the Atlantic, feeling like a tiny speck in a huge ocean. This is where I stayed last night and woke up this morning in España. I'm just cycling along this path next to the river <clears throat> the Rio Aria in Spain just really near to the border of Portugal and the Jerez National Park but I just stumbled upon this little place to stay the night and I thought I'd explore it before I rushed off. Oh. And look, what a jam! How beautiful is this? So the road is kind of really taking me right up to the top of this mountain. Uh, it tried to make me turn right a little while ago and that was just not happening. It was like down a tiny, tiny little track. So I had to continue straight, but in a minute. Turn right. Ah, we have another right turn. Wow. That's beautiful. Right, I need to take some video. <laughs> Road. How can this be a road? Whoa. Oh. This is the greenhouses. I can't go up there. Shit. I'm going to have to go back.
I'm in trouble. Lucy, I'm so sorry. Right, I think what we're going to do is just go down here and stop. Continue for 800 meters. This place is incredible. I am right at the top of the Jerry's. Wow, wow, wow. Just look at these mountains. The Jerry's is just an incredibly beautiful place. I am at the Miradoro de Tibo, high up in the Jerry's Mountains. It's absolutely crazy up here. And I've driven past these little villages oh, on the road. There, cows all over the road. And, oh, it's an amazing place. There's a man walking his cows. <laughs> wow, just look at this amazing place. In the summer, this must be so good. They've actually kind of dammed it, um, which is really nice. And then it flows down there. But look at this. This is what happens when you come exploring.
good morning from Portugal on Good Friday and uh, I want to wish you all um, a very happy Easter and I hope you have um, yeah a fun Easter break and so I just thought I'd give you a little update of what's happening with me here now in Portugal so um, if you saw my last video you'll know that I um, uh, had left was leaving the UK and uh, yeah so I'm here now I've been here for um, three 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 weeks I think yes three or four weeks three weeks <laughs> uh, and um, I have um, been a little indulgent and have been staying in a couple of Airbnbs uh, right by the sea as you can see with my view here and um, really because I just felt like I needed a break um, from being in the van after having been in it in the UK for two and a half months um, which is fine but in the coldest weather of the year <laughs> and also getting COVID as, as well. <laughs> um, that, uh, yeah, so that wasn't so great. So I just wanted to give myself some real proper recovery time from COVID. And uh, now I'm feeling 100% uh, again. And um, so I have um, started to look at property. I've only actually viewed a couple of houses. I've uh, gone and seen where a few, quite a few houses are in the and the areas um, because I'm now looking in a slightly different area to where I was before and um, yeah and I, I I'm not a hundred percent sure yet about about where um, where I even yeah still want to live but I know the the, the region I mean it's still going to be central Portugal but it's kind of more southern western central portugal <laughs> um so yeah so the next video will be um yeah showing you uh some of the houses that i'm looking at oh, oh the sun's just made an appearance <laughs> which is nice it's meant to be a mini heat wave this week heat wave no it's meant to be um yeah a couple of days of really nice warm weather here 25 degrees uh so i'm looking forward to that and uh Yes, so uh, yeah, it's all about looking, really looking for a house. And next week I also um, move from um, being in an Airbnb to a uh, small piece of land um, that has facilities. It has, uh, has a shower and toilets and everything and even a washing machine. So for me, that's luxury, but it's just a piece, a small piece of land and uh, I can stay there um, very, very cheaply um, for as long as I want. So that is going to be my base because although I love wild camping, as you know, when you're staying in one place uh, for a longer period of time, it becomes more difficult because the law here in Portugal is uh, now that you can stay uh, 48 hours, two nights there in one place um, without getting moved on by the police. Um, so although this time of year, it's, it's not really too much of a problem, but it's just, you know, when you go to bed at night, I don't want to have that feeling that maybe, you know, at two o'clock in the morning, because that's what the, the police, the GNR do here. Uh, they might, might see you earlier in the evening um, and then they come back <laughs> later to see if you're still there. And if you are, then they move you on at like two o'clock in the morning, which is not great. So I don't want to have any of that going on. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, my next video, I'll also show you where I'm staying and also this beautiful region that I'm in because it's a new region to me and uh, the area around Lea, La area, Lea area, I think it's called Lea, Lea, yes, um, maybe Laria possibly um yeah and it has its own beauty in in itself so i'll be showing you that too so thank you for watching this video and i will see you uh, next time <laughs>